Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, my name is Natalie and I run a stationery shop called Doodles and Tea. So I know, I know I said I would film a video talking about Instagram growth and all of that for like the last six months. And quite frankly, I'm equally as frustrated as you guys probably waiting for this to come out because every time I feel like I've cracked the code for the Instagram algorithm and I've been getting a significant amount of growth. It's like Instagram knows and they're just like, yeah, we're, we're gonna change the algorithm again. So I made a poll about this on the community post tab thing on my channel. And you guys said you still wanted to see the tips that I have been doing because just last month in January, I had the most amount of growth in the shortest amount of time. So you guys still wanted to hear the tips that I did during that time that really worked for me until the algorithm changed. So I'll be sharing all of that and what I've been doing in this video today. So if you guys are interested in more content like this in the future and to see me try and once again figure out the algorithm, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel for that content in the future. And once you've done all that, let's get started. So first of all, I wanted to share the starting stats that I was at because I feel like that's kind of important to know what I was starting off at, at what level. So I started off 2022 just passing 2,000 followers. And by the end of January, I had reached around 2,300 followers or so. I wanted to mention this because I have also, like you guys, probably watched so many videos about Instagram growth and all these people that are making these videos already have like at least 10,000, 50,000, or 100,000 followers. And in that sense, I feel like they already have so much more of a reach than us smaller accounts. So yeah, I wanted to mention that before I mentioned all of these tips. So here's basically what I did starting from October of 2021. Basically what I did was I would make one post every Monday to Saturday and on Sundays I would post one Instagram reel. And yes, you are getting it correct. That means that I have been posting every single day since October. The main reason for me doing this is because Instagram really favors consistency. But at the same time, I understand that posting every single day is really crazy. <laughs> Even if you guys are only posting two or three times a week, it's important to be posting on the same days every week. For example, if you guys are posting three times a week on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, it's important to always post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I think it has been proven that Instagram does like consistency. And for me and some other shop friends that I talk to, it has been proven that if we break that consistency that we have been following, it does affect our engagement. Now I do have a video on my channel that I uploaded around a year ago about how I batch all of my content. It covers things like my Instagram posts, Instagram Reels, even YouTube and TikTok and all of that. So if you guys are curious, I will leave that video in the cards for you guys to check out. In that video, I'll talk about it more in depth, but basically I like to use a website and app called Later. I really like this app slash website because there is both. So basically I can see all the notifications on my phone when it goes up and I can use my computer to type out all of the captions because the struggles of typing out captions on your phone is very real for me. Plus you're also able to save hashtags as well. And the best of all, it's free. On this channel, you know, we love finding more uh, budget-friendly alternatives and this one is free. Of course, there are other plans that can be paid for, but honestly, I've just been using the free version for like two and a half years now. So yeah, if you're looking for an auto post scheduling website app, I would highly recommend you guys check out later. Now, I also wanted to talk about what kind of posts I make to try and boost the engagement that I get within my community. So for all posts, mainly the photos that are on my Instagram account are all photos of my products. And usually I like to take a bunch of photos all in one day and then I will edit all the photos in an app called Snapseed 
and then schedule in later and then I will have enough content usually for like a week and a half to two weeks so I don't feel like I have to scramble every couple of days to take more photos because I am posting every day. I also like to make sure that in the captions, I have things that says stuff like, oh, comment which one's your favorite sticker, comment what sticker or product you guys think I should do next. Because by seeing comments and I believe saved posts and shares are the things that Instagram's algorithm really looks for, at this point, it seems like likes don't really make that big of a deal. So do what you can to get people to either comment or save or share your posts. Because the more that it happens, Instagram's algorithm is going to think it is a good post to share to other people. Now for Instagram Reels, I think we've all heard that Instagram is trying to push more for Reels. And in a way, I do see it because they said that Instagram Reels also has a longer shelf life, which basically means an Instagram Reel that has been posted like even two weeks ago can still be shown to you. Even on my own Explore page, it is February now and I'm still seeing Reels that are being shown to me on my Explore page from like December. And I myself have had reels that I've posted like a week, a week and a half ago that suddenly blew up afterwards after just radio silence. So I wouldn't lose too much hope if your reels aren't doing too well initially. What I like to do is scroll through other people's reels on the explore page. And if there are audio clips that I like that people are using, I'll click it and see if it's between 10,000 to 100,000 reels that have already been made using that audio. I've had pretty good luck with using audio clips between that range because it's not so niche that nobody knows about it, but it's not too popular that your reel would be drowned out by all the other hundreds of thousand reels that are being made at that time. Now, unfortunately for reels, there is no way to auto post it just yet as of filming this video. Maybe in the future, I'm really hoping for that. And similar to my posts, I like to make sure to tell people to either comment, share this reel, just ways to boost the engagement given to that reel. I will leave on the screen right now a bunch of reel ideas that you guys can use. These are all real ideas that I have done myself, so you guys can take these and make it you. And similar to the post, I like to batch film reels whenever I can. I also like to write down the ideas for reels and the moments that I think about them so that I am not scrambling for ideas when I need to post. Another thing that I like to do is to share your new posts and your new reels on your stories. I recently did a poll on my story to see if people actually see my posts show up on their newsfeed. So to my surprise, even people that I regularly talk to in my DMs or engage with don't actually see my posts show up on their newsfeed, but they'll see the stories that I post. So it's just an extra measure that you can take to share your posts and your reels to get more reach because honestly, it's not that they don't want to support you, it just doesn't show up. And speaking of Instagram stories, it's also really important to engage with your existing community instead of just focusing on finding new followers. So you can do things like polls, you can do things like Q and A's, you can ask people for any more product ideas. The funny thing is, as of the filming date, just yesterday, I posted on my Instagram story talking about how apparently people don't have inner monologues and I woke up to like my Instagram DMs just blowing up because I think people also didn't realize that this was a thing. So it's just little quirky ways to try and engage with the community so that you can build a strong connection to these people who are supporting you. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is something that I have never seen anyone else talk about in any of these Instagram growth videos, and that is luck. There are thousands of these Instagram growth videos that exist on YouTube. And there are videos that have millions of views, but how come it doesn't reflect on Instagram an equal amount of number that have succeeded and have blown up because they have followed these tips? To an extent, 
I feel like a lot of the tips that people share are pretty similar. And even if you follow them word for word, action for action, the results might not be the same for you. And trust me, I have also tried a lot of tips that a lot of other YouTubers have shared and I did not get the same results that they did. And this is why I feel like luck is also a factor in Instagram growth, which really sucks that I have to say that. An example that I will use is, yes, my account suddenly gained like a lot of traction in January, but that was two months after me posting every single day. And I have seen a lot of videos of people suggesting to post every single day. I've seen videos of people even suggesting to post multiple times every single day. So in January, after two months of me posting every single day, I was fortunate enough to have one of my reels suddenly get a lot of views and a lot of engagement, which led to another one of my posts that I made at a similar time also get a lot of views, a lot of reach, and a lot of engagement. And that kind of had a snowball effect of the other 300 followers that came afterwards. What I'm trying to say is, do not be discouraged if you do not get results right away. If I stopped posting every single day before that two month mark, I would have never seen the sudden growth that I had in January. And with all things on social media, it is going to be a balance of pushing your account and having new posts, new content, things to get more reach. And at the same time, knowing when your own mental health, emotional health, and like physical health is much more important than trying to force yourself to post every single day. What that boundary looks like is going to be different for every single person, but I do want to stress at the end of this video that social media is not worth losing your mind over. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is basically what I've been doing for the last three months. If you guys have any other questions, don't forget to leave it in the comments. And if you guys have any other strategies that you have tested, whether or not they worked or they didn't work, don't forget to leave that in the comments as well. I hope some of these tips will kind of help you through this Instagram growth journey and to try and somehow combat Instagram's ever-changing algorithm. And with that, I hope you guys are staying safe out there and taking care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!